to do. Here I am to check on Thorn, our library lizard. Wait, where's Thorn? She's not in here. What's this? Some kind of ladder? To get out of the terrarium? Oh, Thorn. There you are. Thorn's reading a book. Thorn, what book are you reading? What's this say? A look at lizards. Hmm. Good choice, Thorn. Thorn wants to learn about lizards. Lizards live on every continent except Antarctica. Yeah, it's really cold there. They live in trees, in the ocean, and on the ground. They glide through the air, scamper up walls, scoot upside down along ceilings, and can even walk on water. A lizard's legs and feet can give you clues about where it lives. What's happening in this picture? A basilisk lizard can walk across the water. Can you do that, Thorn? Should we turn the page? Some desert lizards have long scales on their toes and can walk easily in soft sand. Thorn, you're a desert lizard. What do your toes look like? Oh, you have pretty long scaly toes. I bet you could walk in soft sand. Tree climbing lizards live in forests and use their sharp claws to grip tree branches. The webbed feet of marine iguanas make them good swimmers. Burrowing lizards spend most of their time underground. They have no legs at all. Lizards have different ways of avoiding their enemies. Some lizards are excellent runners. They scurry out of sight when they sense danger. Other lizards face their enemies. A flap-necked chameleon clings to a branch with its sharp claws. Hmm. Let's turn the page. Look at this scary guy. The frilled lizard frightens predators by unfolding its spiky collar. A frilled lizard can make itself look very scary. Let's do that. A Gila monster Bright colors warn predators to stay away. Many slower lizards have colors that match their surroundings. When a predator comes near, they stay perfectly still and wait for it to go away. And a knoll lizard blends in with leaves. Let's check this sneaky lizard out. Do you see it? The green anole blends in with its leafy surroundings. What's next? Spade-tailed gecko is hard to spot when it rests on the bark of a tree. Other lizards have a special trick. If a predator grabs them by the tail, they drop their tail and run away. And that's what this gecko's doing. This gold dust day gecko has just dropped its tail. Now the predator will eat its tail while the rest of the gecko runs away. Thorn says that her tail does not drop off like geckos. Hmm. Good choice in book, Thorn. I think it's time for you to go back in your home, though.